Hi there, it's Chris from the Cat Blue Rhino Safaris. Let me uh, give you an idea on a new trip that I'm doing in September. It is uh, the Eastern Cape Tour. And um, it is something that follows hot on the heels of uh, the Richtersveld Tour that I'm doing. And um, it's, uh, it's a tour I've been looking to do for a long time. It's an area that I really enjoy down in the Eastern Cape. Uh, the area between George, Port Elizabeth and Craddock. Um, the Otaniqua Mountains run down there. You have uh, lots of history and really pretty um, scenery when you go down there. The plan is to go down in September, which is after the winter rainfall in the winter rainfall region, which means we expect uh, it to be fairly green and um, not yet affected by the drought, which would come later in the summer for the Capes, Capes <laughs> for the Capetonians. Uh, so my Richtersveld tour in September runs down to um, Uppington into the Richtersveld and then down on the west coast to Cape Town. Then I give it about three or four days and I depart going up to George where my trip will ultimately start. Uh, the tour itself uh, is uh, more or less this area as I said George up to Port Elizabeth up to Craddock being the, um, the main areas. It's a six night tour so this one is not really a um, a double night at any place to it but the days are relatively short so there's no rush to get anywhere the total distance I think was about 900 kilometers in, in all that we cover so um, 150 kilometers a day is, is not really a, a big issue but uh, let's chat about the tour itself <coughs> uh, so um, we start our tour in George and um, on the first night we meet in George we sleep there on a nice coastal area and then we make our way through the back roads to Nisena where we do a second night at a lovely beach um, a beach caravan park the uh, route itself is called the Old Seven Passes route uh, nothing nothing scary about it it's just a lovely road to drive it's it's the old route that travels from um, George to Neisner and uh, you have several big passes that you actually drive through while going through this lovely Neisner forest like conditions so really pretty if you've ever driven in the area you'll know it's a really pretty area so something that um, I'm looking forward to quite a lot you normally would take the, the normal highway going through between PE and Cape Town but in on this occasion we are doing the back road so second night we sleep in Neisner as I say not a lot of pressure on the day it's a fairly easy going route and off to Neisner in the morning we depart straight up to Uniondale we go Prince Alfred Pass which is another spectacular pass to drive get up to Uniondale we have brunch and then we make our way into the Bavians Kloof um, for our third night third night is spent in Bavians, a lovely campsite and um, from there the next day we complete the Bavians Kloof route all the way down to Jeffreys Bay. If you have accommodation in Jeffreys you can always go and sleep there otherwise you can um, camp with us. We are camping on the coast again for our third night, um, fourth night on, on the tour, tour itself. Then we make our way up to Addo Elephant National Park. Um, Addo is also one of the the big parks. If you're from South Africa, you will you will know that. So it's pretty much from Jeffries all the way to PE, then turning north, um, going up to Kirkwood. There's a 4x4 trail, the Bedrosfontein 4x4 trail that starts there, and uh, we start our, our Bedrosfontein Eco Trail and uh, travel up all the way to the central part of Addo National Park where we sleep for the, uh, the fifth night and then the next morning uh, we make our way out to Craddock which is the mountain zebra park that we visit for for that last night so through Addo all the way up to Craddock we'll still see which route is the best to take um, and then uh, ultimately lo the last night in the mountain zebra park which is round about this area so all in all a, a lovely six days it it's good just as a breakaway 
uh, if you feel like just getting away a little bit in September uh, doing this area um, just driving through it and seeing what it's all about you're welcome to join me it it is an absolutely gorgeous area uh, it's it's one of those that that you have to <laughs> that you have to do in your life the wild coast is a little bit to the north but that will just make the trip a, a bit longer and I want to keep this a uh, shortish trip that everybody can join I want to make it as cheap as I can but because we are visiting the mountain zebra park we are visiting Addo park um, there is a little bit of cost involved as far as park entry fees go again my costs include as per all my trips all your accommodation all your park entry fees your vehicle park entry fees your guide fees uh, everything of that sort there's a few extra things that you can do on this trip there's a few walks walking safaris there's uh, horseback safaris four by four routes to drive we will do some of these obviously not the horseback and, and walking safaris but um, some of the four by four routes we will do but if you want to do something extra maybe and there's a bit of time available you can do that then our tour will finish at Craddock and from there I'm back home um, to take a, a few weeks breather after all my trips um, more or less ends in September and uh, you're welcome to then stay in the area have a bit of a holiday um, or otherwise go back to to uh, Joburg or Cape Town wherever you come from so join me it's going to be a great trip have a look at the website the price is as low as I can do it it's my first one that I'm doing so I'm keeping the price really low and uh, once I've done the first one the prices will be adjusted to to be more business like so for now it's uh, it's probably a good deal so uh, that's it thank you very much and um, yeah have a look at the website join our tour Cheers.